It really is the worst case scenario for any port. And you know, if you're like me, you can't help but look at those stalled cargo ships and the stacks and stacks of cargo containers. You have to wonder what's inside. Is it electronics, clothes, toys for the holidays? Whatever it is, it's not getting to its destination. And the truth is, this problem has been getting worse for months. Traffic jams are nothing new for us here in SoCal, but this traffic jam at the ports of LA and Long Beach has a serious trickle down effect that could lead directly to empty store shelves and a serious impact to our economy. A record number of container ships have been stuck waiting in the waters, unable to dock. The bottleneck is impacting longshore crews, dock workers, truck drivers, and ultimately will mean some products will not make it to the consumer. The executive director of the port says this port is busier than it's been in its 114 year history. What you're seeing now are the convergence of three things. The sheer strength of the American consumer continues its surge since during the initial days of COVID-19. We're buying more online at, and at our stores than we ever have before. The LA Long Beach Port Complex is the ninth largest in the world, moving 40% of container imports in the U.S. and 30% of exports. But if the container ships can't dock, everything stops. Right now, there are 64 ships basically stuck in the water with precious cargo on board. Once cargo gets here to LA, it's like taking 10 lanes of freeway traffic and bringing it down to five lanes. We're still moving more cargo than ever, but it's not enough because of the buying power of the American consumer. What's happening now is that importers are waiting to pick up their cargo longer than ever before. Containers are sitting on port for an average of six days compared to two days wait in more normal times. In an effort to get a handle on the backup, there's a new 24-7 pilot program called Accelerate Cargo LA. It's expanding terminal gate hours for truckers and also nighttime and weekend hours for longshore crews. But LA can't do it alone. Over the last decade, the federal government and U.S. Congress have out-invested us here on the West Coast in the port communities by a rate of 11 to 1. That means $11 billion in federal funding has gone to ports on the East and Gulf Coast and just a little more than $1 billion here on the West Coast. Congress is right now considering that $1 trillion infrastructure bill. The hope here at the Port of L.A. is that we will see some of that money and soon. Reporting from San Pedro, I'm Lynette Romero for KTLA 5 News.